Hey guys, question. Do you use SSH many times every day on your Android? So previously, I went over the basics of how to connect to your SSH server using an Android device. But that's just the basics. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use SSH like a pro. So you'll be able to connect to any SSH server from your home screen and automatically run commands using a widget. So you can easily do things like waking up your home computer with one tap. And also, I'll show you how to back up those SSH connections on the cloud. And finally, we'll be adding a small layer of security of keeping your app locked. But before we get started, be sure to check out my video of how you can install and set up Juice SSH. And if you missed clicking on that video somewhere here, you'll find a link to it in the video description. Okay, so once you have Juice SSH set up on your device, look for Unlock Pro Features. Once you tap that, you'll see all the different features that come with a Pro license. So you can either purchase it from here, or if you've already done this, you can tap Already Purchased. So it'll verify and activate the license on that device. With Juice SSH Pro, you no longer have to even open the app to access all your SSH servers. You can simply add a widget to do this by jumping straight to your home screen and then long press anywhere to access all your widgets. Just look for Juice SSH and thankfully there's only one to keep things simple. So you'll wanna click and drag it to place it somewhere on your home screen. And if you have long connection names, feel free to resize the widget the way you want. By default, only your most recent connections are gonna show up here. But don't worry because you can easily change this. Just click on the wrench tool to configure the widget and then go to connections. Change this setting to show all. And once you go back to your home screen, you should now see all the connections that you've added. So going forward, instead of opening Juice SSH, going to connections and then manually connecting, you just need to tap your connection from the home screen and then start running commands. And then if you need to add a new SSH connection, you can do it straight from your home screen. Tap the plus icon and then add your connection details. So again, the point of this is to make it easier for you to SSH without opening the app. And now for another one of my favorite automation pro features, snippets. So if you have Juice SSH open, go to settings and then manage snippets. You can basically add multiple bash commands or an entire script by tapping the plus button. Start by giving the snippet a nickname, which is kind of like the name of a shortcut. So for example, I'm calling this snippet IP and the command that I'm giving it is hostname I, which basically tells it to print the device's IP address. So once you're done, tap save on the bottom right and you'll see the new snippet appear in the list. What's the benefit of doing this? Well, let's say you're connected to a server using SSH and then by simply long pressing somewhere in a terminal, you'll see an option called snippets. And if you tap that, you can run any snippet that you've created to manually run those sequence of commands at any time. So in my case, it was able to run that hostname command and print my SSH server's IP address. So that's obviously very helpful, but here's where it gets even better. With Juice SSH Pro, if you try to modify any SSH connection that you have, you'll notice that there's an option to run a snippet. This basically tells the SSH server to automatically run that snippet every time you connect to it. So why is this important? Well, if you followed my previous video on sending a wake on LAN request, you can add something like that here as a snippet and you've configured your SSH server to automatically run that each time when connecting, congratulations, because you just enabled a way to tap on a home screen widget, which automatically connects to your SSH server and instantly wake up your PC from shutdown mode. So now you must be getting an idea of why I'm such a big fan of Juice SSH Pro. 
But wait, there's more. For example, once you enable the pro version of SSH, you'll also see an option called Cloud Sync. And this is really helpful, especially if you have multiple Android devices using SSH. And when you enable this feature, you will get prompted for an encryption passphrase, which is basically a password. But now you'll be able to back up your SSH connections to the cloud. And by default, these identities that you use to connect to your SSH connections are not saved for security reasons. However, if you did want it to back those up and restore them in the future, just make sure you enable the include identities option. And by the way, don't forget to tap the sync now option to actually start using this. Again, if you have a problem sharing your identities, just disable that option. And then also click wipe backups at the very bottom. So this will not only remove everything from the cloud, but you will have to re-enter a new passphrase to start doing backups again. And finally, the last pro feature that's worth mentioning here is security lock. And you can access this from Juice SSH settings. So when you first try to enable this, it's gonna ask you for a pin before you turn it on. And the point of this feature is to lock the app. If you either step away or you happen to switch to another app for more than five minutes. So as you can see, I tried to return to Juice SSH after five minutes of inactivity. And of course, it's now requiring me to use that same pin to unlock it. So hopefully this gave you a better idea of what Juice SSH Pro can do. And more importantly, how it makes life easier if you're using SSH throughout the day from your Android. Thanks for watching. And for more on SSH for Android, please consider subscribing to this channel.